This weekend's plane crash has had us wondering how heat impacts flying, and our chief meteorologist, Nick Marianos, is a pilot, was once a firefighter, and he's here getting answers. Yeah, and he does play a role, especially when it comes to the aircraft performance at takeoff and landing. Uh, let's talk about why, because it does play a role. Sometimes it has led to flight delays across the country with uh, extreme heat waves. And when you look at this, right, you think a, a parcel of air. And when you have cooler air, uh, aircrafts need a lot of uh, air place to cause lift to get that airplane off the ground. So when you have cooler air, you have the air particles, it's more dense. They're, park, uh, they're pretty much uh, tightly packed together. When the temperatures go up, uh, the air particles move around and there's a lot less of it. So you have less uh, air density in place, which means the airplane thinks it's at a higher altitude. Uh, so therefore you need more runway for the aircraft to take off. But when the temperatures are too hot, sometimes runway lengths aren't long enough to get that aircraft off the ground. So uh, that's why sometimes extreme heat waves do cause travel delays across the country. So that's something that uh, we have seen in the past, something that we'll continue to see moving forward when it comes to air travel. Speaking of which temperatures today, look at these highs. 113 degrees was the uh, high temperature here in downtown Sacramento. You know, it shattered the old record for 109, uh, which was the highest for the month of September, but we're just about a degree shy of the all time record here in the city. Look at all these high temperatures too. Vacaville 115, Stockton 112. Uh, we'll see temperatures similar to this tomorrow. In fact, tomorrow will tie another record here in the city of Sacramento. That record is the most 100 degree days we have seen yet over the course of the year. All right, forecast highs tomorrow. We're going for a high of about 113 to 115 in the city of Sacramento. 114 in Marysville, 116 in Vacaville. So dangerous heat continues. This high pressure system that's been in control for quite some time is still parked over us. It kind of acts like a heat dome. Uh, so what that does is it traps that hot air in place as it tries to escape. Uh, instead, it compresses it down. And when that happens, that hot air even warms more. And that's why those temperatures have been upwards of 105 to 115. This is isn't going to change tomorrow, so we're going to continue holding on with the high temperatures into the 115 range for the city of Sacramento. We're going to challenge the all time record high again tomorrow afternoon. Excessive heat warnings continues pretty much statewide, especially across the valley through Friday, and then eventually the pattern will begin to change. That's going to happen when you check out the tropics, believe it or not. So by the weekend, we'll be watching what eventually will be the remnants of Hurricane K. Some of that moisture will be tracking north. And I want to show you as we go through about the Saturday, Sunday time frame, notice what happens to some of that moisture. It starts tracking north. What does that mean for us? It means clouds. When you have cloud cover, the temperatures don't warm up as much during the day. So by the weekend, we will start seeing those temperatures taper off uh, by at least a few degrees. So the extreme heat is only going to continue through about Friday. But even by Friday, we're still forecasting temperatures about 110 degrees. So very impressive and dangerous heat will continue. And then by the weekend into next week, lower 90s. And once you get past the seven day, it appears as though the pattern will support temperatures running below average. So there is an end in sight. Elizabeth. And we will look forward to it. We sure will. Thanks so much, Nick.